Hi Leo, um, got your horoscopes up here just in front of me at that time of the month. I normally uh, look over the positions of the planets for your sun sign. Uh, the sun is really in a strong position now and it's uh, being fortified by the position of Mercury, the two planets in the uh, sun sign of Leo. Now, Hindu astrologers actually call this com combination of the sun and Mercury Buddha Ditya Yoga. Buddha meaning Mercury, Buddha, and uh, Aditya, uh, one of the names of the sun in the, the Sanskrit language. Uh, what does it mean, you ask? It's, it's a very powerful intellectual uh, combination. Firstly, the sun is what we, what we call returning to your sun sign. So this is uh, your month, the month of August. But having Mercury there, the intellectual planet, <coughs> really means you can shine intellectually and show off your brilliance, any ideas that you've got right now. You mustn't keep them in your back pocket. Uh, I know you're the type of person that likes to yeah, express how you feel. But something tells me you still may be holding back a little and this is a time when, you know, if you don't speak up, people are going to not have the benefit of uh, your insights and your ideas. And that is particularly true for your relationships. And you might be thinking, I'd like to take the relationship in this direction. But you're fearful that your partner may not want to accommodate that. How do you know unless you ask them? So you must overcome the fear of what if. Just speak your mind and do it in a respectful way. Be humble about it. And I think this combination is actually going to help you very, very much. The moon will move into the sign of... Uh, well, it's already in the sign of uh, Aquarius on the first, second... So uh, these issues I'm talking about could, could come to a head around that time. There could be some confusion over uh, sexual matters or issues of spirituality, differences of, of opinion and philosophical ideals uh, around, the, around the third to the fifth. So again, you're going to take these snippets of brilliance and apply them to the, the deeper aspects of human psychology if you're to improve your relationship. Now it's quite interesting because uh, in one of the ancient scriptures I remember reading about uh, the body of the astrologer becoming the horoscope. And right now as I've be begun your reading I'm feeling uh, quite an intensity of heat in my body. And what that tells me is that this month for you is particularly hot. Um, we see that combined influence of the Sun and Mercury, heating up your blood. So this could indicate problems with your skin, your blood, there could be fevers, or proneness to catching cold. So you need to look after your health. Even though that normally fortifies um, your health, it could be that you're a little bit overconfident in that area. You've got an incredible grand trine still forming there between Uranus and the North Node. So you really can't do too much wrong this month. Uh, but having that false sense of strength and power, you may overdo it. So just uh, measure um, your, your output, if I could put it that way, this month. The Mars and Saturn in the third house continue to plague most of the other star signs. For you, actually, I'm pleased to say, uh, the malefic planets, as they're called in the third house, act very, very well. And this is a time of courage. Now, for some of you that are sports people, this could be uh, an excellent opportunity for you to come out on top of your, of your game. If you're training, you may train even harder. Once again, I'm going to reiterate, just pace yourself if that's the case. The third house has to do with one's right arm and also the ears. So this right side of the body is prone to some sort of injuries, even though generally it's, it's pretty lucky for you. Um, significant other... Um, important celestial events include the new moon um, which is going to occur on the 15th. You'll feel some strong influences there over the next few days after that. Again, occurring in your sun sign. This is uh, a strong sense of revitalization. Solar return with the new moon in, the, in, in your sign is very, very powerful. So this is your month, Leo. 
Don't waste it. Utilise it. But don't overdo it. Look forward to seeing you here again next month. Same time, same station. In the meantime, look at astrology.com.au for all your daily astrological needs. Bye for now.